morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, feels so good. Uh, how many of you enjoyed the stories that you just saw? And they touched your heart and soul. How many of you are going to go back and share this with somebody? Please promise me you will share. When you share, you receive so much more. Because that is the law of nature. Every time I share something, the universe says, Wow! It's so wonderful you're sharing. Let me give it back to you in abundance. And it gives back to you in abundance. These are true stories, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this fifth edition of the World CSR Day. Something I envisioned 18 years back when I started this movement with Bombay Stock Exchange called Social and Corporate Governance. CSR was not mandatory. It was just a passion that became an obsession and an obsession that led to an understanding and a realization that if we can do it, this place becomes a better place to live in and a place called my world, our world, your world. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a proud Indian. For those of you who are very proud like me, please put your hands up. Very proud Indians. I'm a very proud Indian. I love India. Let's give a very big, of, big round of applause to our country, India. Wow, wonderful. I love energy. The more energy you give me, the more energy I put in to host this program this morning. This edition is special because we debate on the theme what next? People ask me, how can your theme be just two words? What next? And I said to them, the theme is what next because we believe that the next steps will be significant steps because they will be large steps that will architect the future. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to do something that we all very proud to do. Please stand with me as we will sing the national anthem to celebrate India's vision of a brighter, happier and a more successful future. The national anthem. Jaya He salutations. Jaya He is winning. Jaya He is victory. Victory over the evil victory over everything that is called animosity and victory of the negative over the positive. Ladies and gentlemen, today's day is very significant for me, World CSR Day. It's a day I'm still struggling with. The difference is, if United Nations decides to iconize it, I'm, it makes my task a little easier. To my left and your right, you see some pictures of mine with the United Nations uh, placed there. I launched an initiative called Sustainability there. I also launched, uh, also made a presentation of why World CSR Day is significant. I got some remarks which were not required. Those remarks were discussed at the General Assembly and the rest is history. The struggle is not going to be given up. The path is never going to be easy. However, I decide that I have miles to go before I sleep and make this happen because I'm a believer, thinker, doer and an actor in the universe, not just a spectator. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take lead to the lighting of the lamp. Blue Dart that signif significantly believes in the value of social innovation, a company that could absolutely stand for the values culture that Indian economy and many of our corporates try to preach. A large part of the values are inculcated through the vision and mission of the organization. I'm going to request their, their CFO and the Chief Operating Officer of Blue Dart, Mr. Yogesh Dingra, to lead the lighting of the lamp as I invite the guest. Please welcome Mr. Yogesh Dingra. Sir, this side near the lighting of the lamp. I am going to invite the guest as you receive them. Joining, joining Sri Dingra will be Belinda Tan, 
Head of Corporate Communications and Responsibility of DHL. Please welcome Belinda Tan. Joining Belinda and Yogesh is my hero. And my hero because uh, I largely worship every part of the values he and his father have been inculcating. A role model, a mentor, a guide and a significant contributor to the social movement. Please welcome Shri Prakash Amte. Thank you audience. Thank you some of you. Much like you, I love him also. Thank you so much. Nothing is possible without uh, the effort of a struggle that many of us go through. A woman whose trials and tribulations led to a revolution. A woman who created activism amongst the rights of women for survival, for future. Please welcome the very iconic Masooda Jalal from Afghanistan. This year, I invited my friend from Japan to step up. Sir, may I please request you to join in for the lighting of the lamp. There are many countries here today. Yes, give him a good round of applause. There are many countries here today. Uh, I have an icon, an advertising guru, a brand specialist, Bobby Sista admits us. Sir, may I please lead the very legendary Bobby Sista. Please give him a good round of applause. Dingra sir, would you please lead them to the lighting of the lamp. Ladies and gentlemen, a significant movement. Each generation that passes by leads to a generation that is full of expectation. Each generation that contributes significantly leads to a generation that is full of ambition and aspiration. You and I have a responsibility towards the generation. And the responsibility is to do right so that the best can happen. To do right so that the best can happen. Can we, are we able to translate that? This is what What Next will discuss. We have over 120 speakers, about 34 sessions, um, significantly captured and encapsulated in this entire schedule, ladies and gentlemen. Admits as the more than representatives of 73 countries, you will find through the day, a lot of people will come in Newer people will join you, some will move out and the evening will celebrate leadership and excellence with the awards. But first, I must pay a tribute by inviting the people who believed in my vision of the World CSR Day, Blue Dart. So may I request you, Yogesh Dingra, to please step up, welcome and deliver your opening address this morning. 